Terrence Crawford needs to sign with Floyd Mayweather. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Broadway Joel, the Boxing Guru. If you like to stay up to date with boxing news, please hit that subscribe button. And if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. So Terrence Crawford's upcoming fight against Sean Porter will be his last fight under the top rank banner. After that, he will be a free agent. He will not re-sign with top rank. Bob Arum has bad-mouthed him, uh, saying how he's not popular, how he's losing money on his events, how he's not a pay-per-view attraction, this, that, and the third. So... The fact that he's treating his fighter, one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters like that, is blasting him through the media. We all know he's not going to re-sign with them. People are anticipating him signing with PBC because all the top welterweights are on that side and it'll make making those fights easier for him. Now listen, when you sign with PBC, you're really just signing to Al Heyman. That's it. And Al Heyman is not a promoter. He's an advisor. He's not going to go... On pressers, he's not going to do interviews, he's not going to do nothing for you, but make sure you get that bag. Make sure you get a good purse, and that's it. That's all he does for you. Basically, he's just a negotiator for you. But Terrence Crawford needs a promoter, and a good promoter is Mayweather Promotions. Because with Mayweather Promotions, you're not only getting one promoter, you're getting really three promoters. You're getting Al Heyman, who pretty much handles the business side of it, and... His track record is lovely. Nobody can say nothing about his track record as far as business-wise for his fighters. So you know your money's going to be right. Then you got Mayweather, one of the most popular names in all of boxing, whether he's active or inactive. And every time they stick a mic in his face, they're going to be asking about you because you're going to be one of his top pound-for-pound -pound fighters that he has. Then you got Leonard Ellaby, the CEO of Mayweather Promotion, who's very active on Twitter. He always puts out, you know, fake fights that he thinks his fighters could fight just to get your name attached to that person and to have that popularity buzz. So, like, for example, when he did with Tank Davis, associating him with Keith Thurman. Now, we all know that's not going to happen. But point is, it gets some of the casual fans thinking. Sometimes casual fans are not aware of weight. And they're like, oh, my God, you know, they're, they're going to fight. This is a big name versus a big name, maybe. And then it never happens. But you still got some of the buzz through that rumor. So th they are very strategic as far as promoting. Mayweather, as we know, he was one of the most popular fighters of all time. He he wore Mexican gear. He fought on Mexican holidays. He was very strategic and knowing how to make the most money, how to make the biggest event, how to make himself the most popular. Now, if you have him in your camp, you know, you have Leonard Ellerby in your camp, and then you got Al Heyman, you actually have a chance of getting that 50-50% with, with Errol Spence. You have a chance. Because Mayweather, we all know he's the best negotiator. In boxing, ain't nobody's a better negotiator than Mayweather. Mayweather weighed the most money. Meanwhile, having a defensive style. And you could ima you imagine how much money Mayweather would have been making if he was a knockout artist like Terrence Crawford is? So my point is, you got... Again, I'm going to just say, you got three promoters in one if you sign with Mayweather. Now, if you just go the PBC route and you become your own promoter, there's nobody really standing, screaming, talking for you. Because Terrence Crawford, although he's an animal, beast, warrior, gladiator, whatever you want to call him, in the ring, outside the ring, he's kind of like a cool guy. He's not a real trash talker. Very respectable guy. Not, not that he's a punk or anything. Don't get me wrong, though. Don't take that from what I'm saying. He, This guy, but he's just, that's not his style. He's a cool guy. But if you got Mayweather and Leonard Ellerby talking for you, and then, uh, you know, they also are connected to the other fighters. They're connected to Keith Thurman. They're connected to Errol Spence. So those, it makes those fights possible. And then you kind of pit Mayweather and Al Heyman. You know, you, you have Mayweather, one of the best negotiators, with Al Heyman, one of the best negotiators. You can be like, hey, listen, Mayweather, I understand Al Heyman's your boy and Al Heyman represents Errol Spence. He's going to try to get him the most money. But I'm your guy. Make sure I'm represented. Make sure I'm getting that 50-50. Because when Mayweather was going to fight Pacquiao, at one point it was like, oh, it's going to be 50-50. It's going to be 50-50. And once it ended, it wasn't 50-50. Mayweather got the lion's share. At once the fight just kept dragging on, dragging on, Mayweather was like, you know what? It's going to be 60-40 now. 
you take what I give you. And I'm not saying that, you know, Terrence Crawford's going to take 60-40 on Errol Spence. But my point is, he has a better chance of getting 50-50 with Mayweather on his side negotiating for him. Lennon Ellerby negotiating. And being under the Al Heyman banner. He could be like, hey, yo, Al, like, I'm with you. you why are you trying to play me? Give me that 50-50, you know? Give me that 50-50 against your guy. I'm your guy. He's your guy. But give me that 50-50. I'm signed with Mayweather. So you know I'm with you long term. Errol Spence, a free agent. He could go and sign with anybody at any moment. At any moment, Errol Spence could go sign with top rank. I know it won't happen, but I'm just speaking hypothetical. That's something he could come to Al Heyman and say. He'd be like, yo, what's up with you, dude? Make sure I'm getting that money. I would love this pairing. Also, uh, Mayweather has a real pulse of the black community. The black community could help Terrence Crawford, you know, be more aware of who Ter Terrence Crawford is. Because Terrence Crawford, man, one of the most entertaining fighters, one of the best fighters, pound for pound, knockout artist. He does everything you would want a fighter to do. He's wanted to fight the best fighters. He just hasn't been able to. He hasn't been able to. And when, and when people bring up, oh, he hasn't fought nobody, I go, hey, listen, he was undisputed at 140. All four rings. He had all infinity stones at 140. Now, you could say it was a weak division, and I'm not even going to argue it wasn't. It was a weak division, but you can only fight the people in front of you. And, and when you get four belts, you got to put some respect on that, you know? And you know Mayweather's going to use that. Mayweather's going to bring all that up, you know? There's a bunch of footage of him on ESPN. He's fought on ESPN a bunch of times, drew two, three million every time he fights, you know, has a big following in Nebraska. If Mayweather could get that, the, the black community more aware of him, have him fight in Atlanta, make him, you know, put him in a rap video, put him around some rappers, one, whoever his favorite rapper is. You know Mayweather got connections. All Mayweather got to do is pick up a phone call. Yo, you want 10 grand? Yo, go on Instagram with my man. Do an Instagram live with my man Terrence Crawford. I need that. I'm going I'm to Ven Venmo you 20 grand, 10 grand. That's nothing to Mayweather. So, I don't know. I think this is a match made in heaven, and hopefully this happens. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, uh, at underscore Broadway Joel. And uh, until next time, peace.